Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video. This video is gonna be aimed directly at Mac users because the software that we're about to talk about is available for Mac only. Recently, we did a video talking about screen captures and how you can get great quality screen captures. I'll put a link on the screen now in the cards and in the description below. One of the pieces of software we mentioned in that video for helping to create great screen captures, recordings of your screens, was ScreenFlow on Mac. Now there's been a recent software update to ScreenFlow, moving from version five to version six. So we thought we'd do a quick run through video outlining the main features and why I think that you need to upgrade. So the price of the upgrade is only $34 US, but the price of the actual software, if you don't have it already, is only $99. So if you don't have ScreenFlow already, then check out these added features as well and check out the actual software because it's awesome for not just screen capture and screen recording, but also for video editing. Okay, so in this latest version, there has been a ton of upgrades. Now I'm not gonna cover them all, I'm just gonna cover off a few of the ones that I think should justify your spend to either run out and buy ScreenFlow or to pay for the upgrade. And the first is that there's partial screen recording. While the name probably gives it away, what this feature allows you to do is to draw out or just select a section of your screen for your screen recording. Previously, your only option was to record your entire screen. Another thing they've added is animated GIF or GIF export. This allows you to export animated maybe memes or any small animations that you wanna run out for your social media that you don't necessarily wanna have as a video file. So in other words, you're getting an animated image file instead of a video. There's also been a couple of major upgrades to the way that ScreenFlow runs with audio. It now allows you to extract your audio channels from multi-channel audio clips. So if you're recording on a professional camera and you've got a left channel and a right channel, then you can now split these out into two separate audio tracks, a left and right, whereas previously you were limited to one channel. So where this is really good is that if you're recording two audio channels, so maybe you've got a lapel microphone hooked into one and you've just got a top or a shotgun microphone plugged into your second as a back, up, this will allow you to switch off, remove, delete the one that you don't want, which is probably your shotgun microphone, allowing you just to use the clean audio that you've got from your lapel microphone. The way that ScreenFlow analyzes your audio tracks and pulls out an audio waveforms for your audio tracks has been totally reinvented and it is now insanely quick. So they've really improved the performance and the accuracy of your audio waveforms. There's also been a ton of updates to the user interface. You can now mute your audio tracks from the timeline instead of having to go up in the menus. Now probably the biggest feature that they've added in regards to editing and to improving your editing workflow is the ability to now replace clips in your timeline. And this is awesome for editing because it means that you can easily swap out clips and replace clips out, try different things in your timeline to see what works best with maybe timing or your music to really get the clips that flow best for your editing. It also means that it's a quick and easy workflow to replace any placeholder images or placeholder graphics that may just say insert graphic here or insert title here for your editing. So you can go through and quickly drag and drop your titles once you've made them later in the editing process. And one more thing that they've added, which is really handy, is you can now view and monitor your export progress from the dock bar. So you'll see a little progress indicator that shows you how much is left of your exporting. So those are the main features that I'm pretty excited about in version six, but there's also a ton of more features and improvements that they've added. So make sure you check out the latest version of ScreenFlow, version six. If you found this video helpful, we'd really appreciate a share, a thumbs up, or a comment. If not, thumb it down, we'd like the feedback. Make sure you head over to primalvideo.com forward slash subscribe to subscribe to our weekly video updates. We'll see you next time.